So, yes, I am up early having my orange juice. Actually, I had a very early breakfast. Y'all know I get up early in the morning and I've done uh, my all to work early this morning. I think I got up around two. Yeah, so I got up and I stayed up and I um, put on my Sabbath meal. So if you go back and you look at my previous video, you'll see that I prepared turkey necks. And so I will show you all the final outcome of that delicious meal later. So how y'all doing on this very early Shabbat? I'm going to say pre-Shabbat because the sun is not up yet. So I am bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. Um, I let Coco out for a few minutes. Um, which sometimes she get right up when I get up because she hear me in there. So anyway, I got her up. I let her out around five. I don't walk her in the dark. I just go out on the porch with her and let her do what she need to do. And we get ourselves back in. And so, yeah. So I think today for the Shabbat, I'm going to add a spiritual bath. Yes, too. We all need to cleanse sometimes. Not sometimes, but quite often. Yes. So we could cleanse ourselves of ne negative energy. Because, see, when we go out, we bring energy back in with us, rather if we know it or not. So um, I'm going to do a hyssop bath today. And I think it'll be very fitting because today is the Shabbat. Today is a very, very powerful day. And um, of course, I got the altar lit. I keep the altar lit. I got my calendar going uh, for the Most High. The Most High, like frankincense, myrrh, olive oil, cinnamon, and calamus. So I have each of those uh, herbs in various forms. I have some in oil and I have some in resin the frankincense and, the, and myrrh i have it in resin in in uh frankincense and, and myrrh if any of you all are familiar with it it's it's a gummy substance it comes from a tree okay so that's the original form frankincense and myrrh is not an oil you can make it into an oil but it's not an original oil it's a gummy substance so, um, and I have the olive oil, cinnamon oil, and calamus oil. So that's what those, that's what I have in uh, the candle. I'm burning a white candle uh, today. It's a seven day candle. I always burn seven day candles. I do. And um, so yeah, so white candle is on the altar for the most high. Plus, I found out what my lucky numbers are. I found out what my lucky colors are. And so, I put my lucky colors on, uh, on the altar as well. Okay? And so, you all need to find these things out about yourself. You need to find out what your, your lucky numbers are, your lucky colors are. Find out what tribe you are in. You need to know thyself. All of this powerful, esoteric knowledge, you need to know it. You need to know it. Know thyself. That's the only way you can bring heaven on earth to yourself. And the Most High said for us to have heaven on earth. That's right. Heaven on earth. Life is to be enjoyed, not slave. Remember, Zion, slavery was our punishment. That's not who we are. So get it right. You're not slaves. Our ancestors went into slavery. That was the punishment from the Most High because they had disobeyed him by worshiping other gods. 
because the Most High, He and He alone is our God. Okay? Had our ancestors not disobeyed the Most High, I, we, will be in Jerusalem right now, laying back. But praise the Most High, we made it through the punishment. And at any moment, the Most High is coming to get us. And it's getting closer and closer and closer. And if any of you are not familiar with Big Levi, you need to check out his channel because he's dropping some gems. We're studying about Moses and all of the power that the Most High put inside of us. So if y'all are not knowledgeable of Big Levi, you get to, need to get to know about Big Levi. You need to check out his channel. We are studying about Moses. And it is powerful. But I knew we did magic all alone. It's right there in the Bible. It's right there in the Bible. It's right there. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, so, and I got up this morning and, 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 and you know, when I say I do all to work, it's not like I'm, I'm praying all the time. Sometime uh, there's things that you need to talk to the Most High about. And he's waiting on you to open your mouth so you can let him know how you feel so he could deal with the situation. Just like they say, a closed mouth don't get fed. That's right. So you have to open your mouth and let the no my, Most High know how you feel and what you want Him to do. Yes. Okay. So I just wanted to come on with that early pre-Shabbat. Okay. Chit-chat. So y'all please like, share, subscribe. And please hit that notification button so you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos. Shalom.